and then another night, not long after that, we'd taken off and we were heading south in England down to, um, oh, I just can't think of the aiming point where we then set course to go over to over Europe and um, another Lancaster was coming back against the stream going out and our middle upper gunner spotted him first and, and yelled out at the skipper and uh, he was a Scot, this mid upper gunner was a Scots lad came from the far far north of Scotland and, and the, the rest of the Poms couldn't understand him but I was brought up next door to him, a Scottish granny, and this fellow was going, Elskar, from my spot, quarter, and I could translate it back to the crew. But anyway, <laughs> by the time all this went on, this Lancaster was coming back against the stream, hit our starboard fin and rudder, and scraped the top of the rear turret. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, jokes. Yeah. Uh, but that was. And uh, all this other threat business, that we, had, we didn't consider that was enough good reason to turn around and go home. Well, we would have had to get somewhere to drop their bombs because you could, it was suicide to try and load, land with a load of fuel and bombs. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. It'd kill it, it, everybody. So what did you drop and the bombs? We, we, did, we pressed on. The pilot he did a, a tremendous job and we went to the south of England, bombed the target and got home. And it, it, and then we couldn't call, we'd lost all our aerials with this, you know, we had aerials everywhere. And when this other plane hit us, and don't, we never heard what happened to him, but we, we couldn't call it, because when we normally got back, you know, we were stacked at a height to, to you know, get it mm -hmm. into the turn to land. And you couldn't muck around too long because everything was worked out fairly precisely. Uh, you didn't have a lot of spare juice like they do in place today. Anyway, we, we we just went straight in and landed because we couldn't call up. And uh, by the time we got to the end of the runway, we, without that fit and rudder working, we couldn't turn off. The, and uh, the next minute, a jeep came screaming out and started ranting and raving and carrying on. And I was first out the the plane and. He'd come up on the good side, and he, and it turned out later on it was the CO. But being at night time, no, I couldn't see who it was, and he was yelling, screaming. And I would, well, I'd had a bit, a bit of sticky night and, and a, in a wobbly turret, and uh, I was yelling back at him as much as he was yelling at me, and I didn't, I didn't realise he was the CO, but so what the hell. <laughs> Anyway, he had to get a tractor there to tow us off the thing, oh, and that was a... But our, all our pilot got recognition, he got what, a green endorsement in, in his logbook for doing a good job.